Hi, my name's John. In the last video on the centre finding punch, I described and I showed how I drilled two extra holes in there to enable us to divide the bar into four bits. Well, it will divide the foot bar into four bits, but not equally spaced. All it'll do is find the centre, and there'll be, there'll be some ratio as to where they are. So that was wrong. What I can do with it though, now I've drilled the extra holes in, I can put another pin in there and I can use it that way for splitting smaller stock in half so all is not lost. The other thing I did, I showed you how to remount this back in the mill machine, how to re relocate the hole. The way I did it was a bit Heath Robinson, there is a proper way to do it. You can do it with an edge finder. I'll do it again with an edge finder and show you how to do it accurately to get it right. Right, this time I'm going to set the job up properly in the vise using an edge finder to find the centre of the hole. I'm going to take the drill chuck out, put a collet in, Colours are more accurate because they're, they're closer, closer in. You can't get any closer than that. Obviously, the further you've got something sticking down a bit, if it's a tenth of a thou there, down here it's going to be wobbling about like a, it'll be wobbling about. Right, put an edge finger in. Well, we'll make parallels in just the same. And put, a, put a job in. I'll take one of these pins out and you'll be able to see it clearer. Right, I've taken one of the pins out so you can, you can see better. And anyway, that goes in the vase. Or eyeball that edge finder and at the centre of the hole. This will work on any size hole that that will fit into. We'll move our x-axis. It's actually stop wobbling about there and then push off there. So we'll zero our x-axis at that. Take it on the other side. It's pushed off there. Lines itself up and then pushed off there. That was a reading of 4.030 millimetres. So we're half that, 2.015. So we'll go that That'll be dead in the centre that way. Right. This time I want to do the Y axis, I've moved the camera so you can get the DRO in screen in shot as well as the jaw. So we'll take it away from the first. Nice and gently. See it stabilise and then it'll kick off there. So we'll zero our Y axis, fetch it towards where, stops moving, and kicks off there. Do it again. Kicks off there. 4.050, half of that is 2.025. We'll 
which is basically the same as the reading we've got on the x-axis. We do it again. Do it this way. Kick off there. Q our y-axis to that way. Stabilise there, just kicked off there. 4.05, half of that is 2.025. Two point zero two five. I mean the difference we've got a hundredth of a millimetre difference between the two the two sizes. What I'll do now, I'll put it eight mil collet in here. Right, the moment of truth, that is absolutely blob on. There's no, that's not near enough, that is right. Right, there's, there's no near enough here, that is absolutely spot on. Like I say, any size hole, any size hole that that will fit into, it could be a foot diameter, you can still find the centre of it using that tool. If it was a bigger hole, big enough to get this into, I would probably use that edge finder because I like using it. Right, so hopefully that will explain a bit better how to accurately find the centre of a hole in a miller machine. You can do it using the hand wheels and the graduations if you haven't got a DRO, but the DRO certainly makes it easier. On a later note, um, my dad rang us up today saying that somebody dropped in a micrometer for us. So, Actually, I went down and it's a brand new Starrett Nota Orange Micrometer in a box with a test certificate and all the bits and pieces. Uh, I've got quite a few megs, but I haven't got a, I haven't got a one quite as good as this. I'll get you a close up shot of it, see what you think. As you can see, it's absolutely mint, brand new. The one I've got, all the paint's all rubbed off there with me, my thumb, that's not. Got the adjustment spanner. Instructions in the certificate. That would be kept for for special jobs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for supporting me, channel. By drilling the two holes there, putting the bar in an angle, it doesn't divide into four equally spaced holes. It divides into four holes, but they're all equally spaced. Oh, for bollocks sake, man! <laughs>